Hello folks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up VPC flow logs to your CloudWatch log groups. There are two methods. One is sending to S3, which is the easiest way. And sometimes when you want to do some processing or send it to Lambda function, it might be more easier to send it to CloudWatch log group than sending to S3. So in today's video, we are going to see how to send it to the CloudWatch log group. So let us go to our dashboard. Here we are in the AWS VPC dashboard and after selecting your VPC, if you go to your flow log section, you will be able to create your flow logs. As you can see here, I have already set up one for my destination for my S3 bucket, but in today's video, we are going to set it for CloudWatch log group. So click on create flow logs and then we are going to select all traffic. That is, we don't want to filter by accept or reject here itself, but we want to choose all the traffic. And next is the destination log group. So if you don't have a destination log group already, it will, it would be better if you can go and set it up. So that is what I'm going to show you now. I don't have any log groups or IAM rules. I'm going to show you everything from scratch. So let us go to our CloudWatch log group and set, create a destination log group. And here we are in the CloudWatch section and under logs, you will be able to create a new log here. So click on actions and click on create log group and I'm going to call it flow logs. Just plain and simple, just flow logs and click on create log group. So we have got our log group created. So let us go back to our VPC dashboard and fill in this value now. So now I am back here and then I have created my log group and I have given the destination log group as flow logs. Next step is to create an IAM role that will be required so that it will allow VPC to write to the log group. So we need an IAM role for that. So let us go ahead and create the IAM role now. So let us go ahead and create a role and it is going to be an EC2 role here. So select EC2 here, click on next permissions and we will add the permissions here later. So let us go ahead and create a dummy role without any permissions right now. And I'm just going to say VPC flow logs demo role. And that's what my role name is going to be. And this is my role. I'm just going to open it. And as of now, there are no policies. So I'm just going to add an inline policy here. And I'm going to click on JSON. And this is the policy statement should be. <clears throat> this allows me to send my log groups or allows me to send the flow logs to write it into the log group itself. So I'm just going to copy this and put it here. So click on review policy. And then going to name a policy called as flow logs to log group and you can have something more meaningful in your accounts. So that is the first thing. Then we need to add a trust relationship so that it will allow my EC2 to write into the log group. So the trust relationship is also mentioned here. So this is how the trust relationship lo should look like. So let us go ahead and copy this and edit the trust relationship here. And I'm just going to change it to this one now. So update the trust relationship and we are done here. I'm just going to copy this role name so that we can go ahead and use it into our VPC dashboard here. So let us go ahead and put in our role name now. So that's how my role appears here. I'm just going to click on create now. So that's all it is there to create a flow logs. So once we create your flow logs, it should start appearing here. You can see here the first one is for the S3 bucket where all the logs are sent here. And the second one is destination to flow logs and my logs will start appearing here. So usually it takes about a couple of minutes to five minutes, depending upon the traffic that you have in your account or how many servers you have, your logs will start appearing. You will see the network interfaces and then under the network interfaces, you will find the traffic there. So let us give it a couple of minutes. Here we go. My logs have started appearing here. I see the first Elastic network interface there and then the logs for that. If I just go ahead and click on that, and I'll see a lot of traffic there. So how do I make sense of this traffic? That's what I'm going to show you next. How do I understand what it means there, what I'm seeing on the screen? This is how a typical flow logs looks like. So what it means? So let us go ahead and see what are the each field means. So the first field is typically the AWS account number. The second field is the Elastic Network Interface, the ENI from which the traffic is being captured. And then the next two fields are your source and destination IP addresses, followed by your source port number. 
and in what protocol it was made whether it was a HTTP, HTTPS or a TCP, UDP all those kind of information and then how many packets were sent whether one packet or it was a DDoS flood was happening and how many bytes was transferred between uh, that in that particular session whether it was uh, 10 bytes or 20 bytes or 40 bytes was transferred and then how long this session was what is the start time what is the end time and finally you have the information of whether the traffic was accepted or rejected so that is what a VPC flow logs captures and that's what you see on the log group so if I go back to my uh, dashboard now that is the CloudWatch dashboard here you can see here all that information are there if I want to for example I want to filter all the reject traffic so all I can do is I can go ahead and say enter a query saying reject and it filters me all the reject traffic likewise I can do it for IP addresses also so let us go ahead and say I want to filter all the traffic that is coming from this IP addresses that is my source IP address and you can see here uh, traffic from this IP address is or rejected by my server or my, my flow logs and it still gets logged but this is very easy to do if it is for one server or two servers you can come to your outwatch log group and do it but if you have a fleet of servers in multiple environments and across the multiple regions it might not be easy to come here and search one by one and find out what is the IP address what is the accept and reject traffic so you need to process them in something like an elastic log stash a search or ELK stack so that you can feed all that information into your elastic search and process them faster for incoming logs at whatever the velocity is you can process them inside ELK stack and show it so in the next video I'm going to show you how to push this information that is your log group into your ELK stack and then um, we can see how to uh, create visualizations for your accept and reject traffic so if you have not seen my uh, video on how to set up your ELK stack either in EAS level or the Amazon Elastic service, I would strongly recommend you to go ahead and watch them because that is the next video and we will be doing it there. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.